Welcome everybody. Welcome. Jai Ho. Jai Ho. So in the life, we need to practice a lot of tolerance, you know. Without tolerance, we cannot achieve anything, you know. And uh, without practicing tolerance, we cannot conquer a the anger. You know? And without practicing tolerance, we cannot succeed to practice holy dharma, and we will not succeed to achieve great liberation. So in the life, even for the preparation of this life, for taking care for the children, taking care of care for the family, taking care for the uh, you know good relationship, taking care for your business, for your career, taking care for your responsibility, we need to practice tolerance with good understanding. Tolerance comes, practice of tolerance comes from good understanding. So that's why in order to develop the good understanding, we have to learn the divine wisdom of enlightenment and we have to learn all the divine technique which can purify ourselves, which can transform ourselves, which, which can liberate ourselves. And then we, in order to benefit and liberate all mother sentient beings, we also need to practice tolerance. For that also, for practice tolerance, we need to develop good understanding. That all mother sentient beings to whom we want to protect, for whom we want to pro uh, serve them, love them, and try to liberate them, with the genuine heart of the understanding of all the mother sentient beings in every lifetime, when we when we were their loving son and daughter, all mother sentient beings offered us the greatest contribution. All mother sentient beings offered their heartfelt contribution, heartfelt service, and heartfelt sacrifice during when we we were their son and daughter, even if we were cubs, you know, of animal mother. The animal mother, animal mother, risked her life to find a piece of food to eat in order to save life of her cubs with so much love and care, you know. So we all have received infinite love Infinite service from all our mother sentient beings, from their heartfelt sacrifice and hard work. All mother sentient beings serve their children, love their children, sacrifice their happiness for sake of feeding, and, or loving, and taking care of the children. So when we have this understanding that all mother sentient beings sacrifice us, sacrifice themselves. They give us so much love, so much sacrifice, so much service. During when we were their son and daughter. So if we have developed this understanding, then we naturally can tolerate all mother sentient beings and we can give our heartfelt service for the liberation of all mother sentient beings and for the happiness of all mother sentient beings. So the practice of tolerance is based on a good understanding with the wisdom of enlightenment, with good understanding of the universal loving compassion. We receive so much love and service from all mother sentient beings. So that's why all mother sentient beings deserve to receive our service and contribution for their liberation. No? So every lifetime, we receive so much love, we receive so much care from all Mother Sentient Beings. Now is our great moment that we have to return 
our heartfelt love, service for the liberation of all mother sentient beings and for the happiness of all mother sentient beings. When we have achieved this precious human body, we have opportunity to practice Holy Dharma, help ourselves, purify ourselves, transform ourselves, liberate ourselves, and then to take a universal responsibility to, to love all mother sentient beings, to serve all mother sentient beings, and to try to remove fear and suffering of all mother sentient beings, and ultimately relieve, uh, liberate all mother sentient beings from ocean of suffering. Once we have achieved this precious one body, we have this opportunity, you know. So, we can accomplish great practice of tolerance through great understanding. And through great practice of universal loving compassion and through great uh, understanding of the divine truth through developing the wisdom enlightenment you know we can accomplish our journey to achieve great liberation for sake of the liberation of, of all mother sentient being so our greatest responsibility our most meaningful responsibility in work is to practice holy dharma diligently purify our body speech and mind transform our body speech and mind and liberate our mother's, uh, our body's mind, and then to give diligent service for the liberation of all mother's sentient being until all mother's sentient being achieve great liberation. We have to continuously, forever, we have to give great service to all mother's sentient being. I free all mother sentient being from fear and suffering and help all mother sentient being to achieve great liberation mainly by introducing the practice of holy dharma to all mother sentient being we have to teach the holy dharma practice holy dharma to all mother sentient being and then they they take chance opportunity to practice holy dharma and they can do their practice of Dharma to purify themselves, they can help themselves to purify themselves, to transform themselves, liberate themselves. No. So the Holy Dharma give, give greatest opportunity for the liberation of ourselves and for the liberation of, of all mother sentient beings. The Holy Dharma is the only solution, only technique, only one greatest technique, the Holy Dharma is the greatest technique, greatest solution to purify everybody's fear and suffering, to purify everybody's ignorance and ego attachment, duality fixation, to purify everyone's sinful emotion and sinful actions. The Holy Dharma, which the Holy Dharma, which is to practice universal love and compassion, which is to practice the, the the wisdom enlightenment, and which, to, which is to practice meditation, can bless all of us to achieve great liberation, and it also bless all mother sentient beings to achieve their great liberation. So, for example, if there's hundreds of thousands of different sickness, virus, you know, but if there are only one vaccine, which kills, destroys all the all the virus. It destroys all the um, infection, destroys all the bacteria, and give the ultimate good health for everyone. You know. Then that medicine is why call call that medicine is special nature magic. One medicine, one one medicine. Um, for, for as the remedy of uh, hundreds of sickness, nature magic. One medicine can cure all the disease. You know? So, like Dharma, Holy Dharma is a, the greatest solution, greatest method. By practicing it, we can purify ourselves forever, transform ourselves forever, uh, liberate ourselves forever, uh, remove pain and suffering forever, and achieve great liberation. 
So holy dharma is the greatest solution, greatest answer, greatest, greatest method. By practicing holy dharma, we can help ourselves and we can help all mothers and human beings to achieve everlasting freedom and great liberation. You know? So we are here to practice holy dharma. You know? All the divine technique, the practice holy dharma, is essential practice of our life, most meaningful practice of our life. Other worldly practice, worldly uh, activities and worldly engagement, worldly practice are very uh, tiring, very meaningless, very much wasting our time and energy without achieve, achieving the real essence or real meaning. But the practice of Dharma is absolutely meaningful because the practice of Dharma alone can liberate us, free us forever. And through practicing Dharma and through introducing the practice of Dharma to other mother sentient beings, we can help all mother sentient beings to achieve great liberation as well, you know. So our most important task, responsibility, most important activity of our life, most respons most important responsibility of our life for our liberation is to practice Holy Dharma. You know? So we gather here to practice Holy Dharma. This Mahamudra Meditation Center, since we found uh, 12 years before, we managed, you know, organize and I found this uh, Mahamudra Meditation Center to share the divine wisdom of, of Buddha to all the fortunate uh, people of Hungary and people of Romania, people of Germany, people of whole Europe. You know? So my intention to create this Mahamudra meditation is to make a holy place, a kind of Dharmic center, where all the Hungarians Romanians, Germans, and other European country people, whoever like to learn Dharma, whoever want to practice Holy Dharma, so that they can comfortably come here and learn the Holy Dharma. And a lot of people make their three-year retreat here also. So this Dharma practice, the genuine Dharma practice, which is organized, which is practiced in, in this uh, Mahamudra Meditation Center and the beautiful city Kun Hejesh in Holy Kere Hungary. This spiritual activity, this spiritual gathering is always dedicated for the urgent protection and great liberation of all human beings and for the liberation of all other sentient beings. Thank you for coming here today again. Oh, thank you all of you that you are you come here not for some worldly purpose, for worldly kind of a responsibility. You come here to practice Holy Dharma, to achieve your great liberation, and then to help all mother sentient beings to achieve great liberation. You have a universal divine purpose to come here to practice Holy Dharma, to liberate yourself, and then to help to liberate all mother sentient beings. All of you are great Bodhisattva, a great spiritual holy man, woman, you know, who also give me opportunity to, to share the teachings of Buddha, you know. You all gave me opportunity to teach, to educate, and share this all the divine technique, you know. So the divine wisdom of enlightenment is uh, practiced by all the great masters and all the great masters who practice the divine the wisdom of enlightenment. This divine light of enlightenment, the divine wisdom is shared to their students. And their students get uh, disciples of rich enlightenment and they share their, this divine wisdom of enlightenment to, uh, they share to their uh, students and their grand, stu their grand students also rich enlightenment so the activity of Buddha, Dharma and Sangha activity of uh, great liberation the activity of practicing holy Dharma is uh, passing to from master to the students and then well, you know like it is always shared, you know, like one candle light 
shade with other thousand candle light, and there at the end there's thousand light. The divine wisdom of Buddha is shared to, to everyone, you know. And everybody have chance to achieve great liberation and enlightenment. You know? Thank you for your for your spiritual dedication, spiritual interest and devotion. So now this weekend, today is, um, first of all I want to offer my heartfelt congratulation and my best wishes for the happiest national day of uh, Holy Great Hungary, you know. So during this difficult time, I'm quite happy that uh, even though I miss Nepal and India and other uh, Asian countries, Asian, Asian home, but in fact I'm very happy that this uh, difficult time, during, during six, seven months, I'm able to uh, stay here in Hungary, in Mahamuda Meditation Center, with, with many spiritual activities, with many teachings, with many ceremonies, which blesses Great Hungary, whole Europe, and the entire world, you know? So, and many of you spend your time with me here, yeah, you know, to practice Holy Dharma. Thank you. So now we practice the Amitabha Buddha uh, prayer first, okay? This afternoon, uh, early afternoon, you practice uh, Amitabha Sadhana in your language, beautiful language, Hungary. Now I will uh, make this uh, Amitabha original prayer with the Tibetan language, you know? Okay? So you can follow because you have the transcription in Tibetan language. Page number page number four, yes. No, page number three. Oh, bondage of a lamar in budget of your appendage and your law. Oh, 
méghozzá pokoltól egészen a mennyországig, azért, hogy minden fájdalmuk, félelmük és szenvedésük elmúljon. És azért is recitáljuk ezt a mantrát, hogy örökre elérjék a megszabadulást. Ahhoz, hogy az Isteni darmát gyakorolni tudjuk, ahhoz szükségünk van arra, hogy a tökéletesen tiszta személettel tekintsünk a dolgokra. Egy olyan tökéletesen tiszta személettel, ami rámutató dolgok eredendő, igaz természetűen. So, the perfect viewpoint of practicing the dharma, perfect viewpoint by developing it, that we can achieve great nirvana or great liberation. That perfect viewpoint is that all the emotions, all the feelings, all the sensations, almost all the experience are suffering full. It is suffering. All the emotions are suffering. All the feelings, all the sensations, all the experience are full of suffering, full of fear, full of disappointment, full of pain. Yeah. Yes, that is. És ez a tiszta szemlélet. Pedig az, hogy minden érzelem, minden érzet és minden tapasztalat teli van fájdalommal és szenvedéssel. So if we believe too much our feelings, if we believe too much our emotion, if we believe too much our sensation, if we believe too much of our experience, actually we are believing the suffering. We are so foolish that we believe in suffering, no? So we can never get rid of suffering. If you believe in suffering, the suffering is real, no? Your feelings are real, that your feelings are like a status, you know, like solid, you know? Something not removable. Then you can never get rid of suffering. You can never get rid of fear, no? As long as you think your suffering and fear is real, and you are very much fixed on it, and you have so much fixation, attachment to your suffering as it is real, then you can never get rid of your suffering, no? All these feelings are suffering, all these emotions are suffering, all these experiences and sensations, all these expectations, these all are suffering full. No, you should not believe it, you know? These are, you know, suffering full. More you believe in it, you will be more, you will experience more suffering, more, more pain, and more, more fear. No? Yes? Hogyha hiszünk abban, hogy az érzeteink, az érzéseink és a tapasztalataink valósak, akkor a szenvedésben hiszünk, hiszen az érzetek és az érzelmek és a, szem, és a tapasztalatok teli vannak szenvedéssel. Hogyha hiszünk abban, hogy ezek létezése valós, akkor a szenvedésben hiszünk. Tehát ahhoz, hogy ezektől meg tudjunk szabadulni, ezektől, ettől a hittől kell megszabadulnunk. So if you contemplate 
if you understand and contemplate your suffering, your feel, your suffering, and your fear, your panics are not real. They are not statis. They are not real. You know, your feelings and your sensations, your emotions. These are just like a very unreal, illus illusory kind of experience. No? Like you experience suffering, fear, you experience uh, fear and suffering related with your feelings, with emotions, with your sensation, and with your expectation. This all the feelings. All the sensation, all the appearance, whole experience of the dream is not real. Until you, re you realize that your dream is not real, the feelings are not real, sensations are not real, emotions are not real. Also the suffering, fear and panic is also not real. real. Until you understand, understand that they are not real, you will not, you will not get rid of your suffering. You cannot transform. And you cannot purify your suffering. And you cannot purify and uh, transform the cause of suffering also, you know. So the fact is though all the sensation, all these feelings, all these emotions which are full of suffering, which is full of uh, pain, in matter of fact, they don't have real existence. They are like an experience of dream, you know. Until you wake up from a dream, you will experience a <clears throat> fear and suffering, panic, related with your feelings and expectation. You, until you wake up, you will experience a real suffering, as the, as the suffering is real in your dream. But after you wake up, you realize it was a stupid illusion, illusion stupid dream. You know? Only you realize, when you wake up, then you get, get, rid of, you get the ultimate relief from fear and suffering. And you realize these are not real, no? So fear and suffering and experience of whole samsara is not real. It is just a dream. It's like a short dream or short nap, you know? They don't have true reality, not, no true existence. So this is the viewpoint of... This is a, a good viewpoint, perfect viewpoint. Yes? Vizsgáljuk meg, elmélkedjünk azon, meditáljunk, hogy vajon az érzeteinknek, az érzéseinknek és a tapasztalatainknak van-e valós alapja. Ha alaposan megvizsgáljuk, azt fogjuk felismerni, hogy mindez nem több, mint illúzió. Amíg ezt nem ismerjük fel, addig nem tudjuk megtisztítani és átalakítani. Like dream, you say. Illusion is a little bit of cheap language, as I know. Like illusion is like very rubber language, but you can say like dream like. Dream like no real. Mindegy álomszerű és nem valóságos, tehát minden ilyen tapasztalás, érzet és érzelem. Amíg nem ismerjük fel ezt, hogy mindez ilyen álomszerű, addig nem is tudjuk megtisztítani és átalakítani sem a szenvedést, sem pedig annak okait. Épp olyan ez a szemszere, mintha éppen álmodnánk. Úgy, amikor az álomban nagy szenvedést élünk meg, azt nagyon is valósnak érezzük, amikor felébredünk. Viszont rögtön el is múlik a fájdalom és a szenvedés, hiszen felismerik, hogy az nem valós. Ezt kell felismernünk tehát, ez a tökéletes szemlélet. So if you want to get free from fear and suffering of samsara, then you must know all the experience of all samsara, including the fear and, and suffering itself, it is not real. No? It's not real. As long as you, you know that the whole experience of all samsara is not real, you will never get rid of samsara. You will never get free from samsara, you know? So samsara is not real. It looks like real, but in fact it's not real. Dream, like dream. Until you wake up, you think the dream is real, you experience all kind of fear and panic and suffering. But after you wake up, you know it was all a stupid dream, no? You're relieved from it, no? So if you want to get free from fear and suffering of samsara, you know, if you want to get free from um, cause and effect of samsara, fear of samsara, You must realize, you must contemplate samsara is not real. No? Samsara is like experience of a short dream of short nap, which has nothing to do with reality and truth, you know. So samsara is real. Oh thanks God. 
I thought it's real. I thought samsara is real. All the fear and suffering, panic are real. I thought all the feeling, all the sensations, all the emotions are real. That's why I got prison myself, you know. With this fixation, with this attachment, I experienced, I let myself to suffer since the beginning of time until now, without knowing that it's not real, you know. Now the teachings of Buddha introduce the samsara, all the experience of samsara, all the sensations of samsara, all the feelings of samsara, all the experience of samsara, including, including the fear and suffering and panic of samsara, whole thing is not real. Whole thing is dramatic, just, a, just a, you know, like drama, like theater, like magic, like dream. Samsara come from nowhere, go nowhere, and rest nowhere. Samsara have no true existence. Samsara never existed before. Samsara never exists now. And Samsara will, Samsara will never exist in the future. Samsara is beyond existence. Thanks God. The relief. When you realize and contemplate Samsara is not real, all the fear and suffering, panic, sensation, and experience whole, whole samsara, which give us so much pain and suffering since the beginningless time until now, that samsara is not real. So Buddha introduced samsara is not real. Fear and suffering is not real. It is just your, your dream. Your ignorant create this dream. Make you to suffer. Who's making you to suffer? Your own ignorant. So moment if we, we develop the perfect viewpoint, viewpoint no. We develop the wisdom. The wisdom knows, through judgment of the wisdom, knows that samsara is not real. According to the darkness of ignorance, samsara is real. You know? But through truthful judgment, with the truthful, truthful judgment of the wisdom enlightenment, samsara is not real. Samsara never existed before, doesn't exist now, and never exists in future. Stupid samsara have no existence. So when you realize this, oh, relief, oh, thanks. You know, this is the introduction, direct introduction of the divine truth, of the perfect viewpoint. <coughs> and you have to realize immediately, yes, you decide there, make decision, yes, samsara have no true existence. All my fixation, to all my attachment, towards every sensation, every feelings, every emotions, including the suffering and the pain itself, is not real. It is like a dream. Wake up. That's it. Ah, these teachings of Buddha give us ultimate relief that samsara, the cause and condition of samsara, all the fear and suffering, which bother us, which imprison us with our misunderstanding, is in fact not real. Jing so in the Buddha introduced is not real. <sighs> yes? It looks real, but in reality it is not real. So you have to think this, you have to believe this, you have to con uh, develop this awareness, keep this awareness all the time with you, in your heart, and that's it. No? I think that many of you speak some English, so I, I want to speak directly with you. So this real power, you know, real power. Students like to, of course we make some power. But the real power is that to, to develop this perfect way, way point of enlightenment. You know? And realize samsara have no existence. Samsara never existed before, never existed. And now never will never exist future. Samsara is beyond samsara, including the fear and suffering of samsara, has no true existence. One who experiences samsara is also have no, no existence. I, the self who experiences suffering of samsara, that self has no true existence. You know? Object samsara and subject mind, subject ego, both have no true existence. Both are emptiness. Yes. 
This is the real power. No? So we keep on reciting the mantra, okay? Om Mandevare, Om Mandevare, Om Mandevare, Om Mandevare. <coughs> Fear and suffering of samsara. Wake up from uh, from the fear, of, fear and suffering of samsara. Oh, amen, devare. 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 Oh, my. 
suffering of samsara since biggest time you know you no know? so when i say free that all the buddhas buddha metaba and all the buddhas and bodhisattvas bless all mother sanjin being with this mantra free i wake up all mother sanjin being from the ignorant and from the fear and suffering of samsara the all mother sanjin being in one instant they achieve great liberation they become one with buddha metaba okay you have to think of this okay om deva are om deva are om Oh, 
There's one supplication prayer that we pray always, like the original text, but there's no speaking about power. So here, this one said, uh, this one page number B, you can you can bring with this Amitabha Buddha text enough. Okay? Yeah. This is a more easy to practice and, con and concentrate. So again, one time more. The page number in Poa, page number 8B. 100,000 mandala offering, 100,000 guru yoga. So this needs a lot of preparation, you know. It's not for common. It's, this is a secret divine technique of uh, uh, power, you see. So, but this, we may make this, this basic practice as preparation for, for real power practice, which we can do sometime next year, you know? But before that, you should also uh, make the preparation practice of uh, like four fundamental uh, thoughts and for preliminary practice, you know, things like this. Okay, all right. Uh, so now, actually, um, after mantra three, uh, like we are concentrating to, to liberate all mother sentient being beyond, like the body, the consciousness leaked out from the crown chakra and then touch Buddha with the all this, just free. It releases fear and suffering of all mother sentient beings 
least they're ignorant and uh, the fixation of all mother sentient being and wake up all mother sentient being into a divine nature of their mind which is Buddha nature, which is a Buddha Amitabha nature, which is a enlightenment nature. No? So this is a more in general, more it doesn't that need so much intensive uh, kind of concentration or visualization. It's just a very open, free and easy practice, you know? Alright? Something like Dzogchen practice, section Dzogchen Pawa, you know? Yes. Oh, again one time they, uh, they did this special prayer, Ebi. Oh, Absolutely meaningful, healthy life, 
spiritual life, that you will have a very long life. Buddha Amitabha and Bodhisattvas will bless you to have long life. And then during the actual death, then Buddha Amitabha and countless Bodhisattvas are waiting for you to invite you to pure land of Buddha Amitabha where you reach enlightenment, where you become one with Buddha Amitabha, you know. So Buddha Amitabha, Om Amitabha is a mantra of long life also. No? Buddha Amitabha and Buddha Amitayu, they are same. Just two names. No? So people who are living, it is a, this mantra also bless you to have long life. No? And extraordinary spiritual life. Removing all your obstacles and achieve great liberation. No? And then you will be very bright Bodhisattva who can help other beings, who can benefit all mothers and children, you know. Om Amidavari, Om Amidavari, Om Amidavari, Om Amidavari, Om Amidavari, Om Amidavari, Supplication prayer, very blessed by countless enlightened great masters. Uh, you know, by practicing this uh, great aspiration prayer, what we are going to pray now, um, countless, there, countless of them um, accomplish Buddha Amitabha and reach enlightenment. So now we have chance to practice it, you see. So now I will do this prayer one time and then you also uh, read your translation. Ha 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 ho 
Tisztelet teljesen szolgálsz másokat és teljesített kívánságaikat. Hadd még, hogy a három drágaság is. One is two, is two, two. Most nem tudom, One is a budget santo, one is doom life. Thank you for praying my long life, huh? I think my long life, if I stay long, long life, I have more time to teach you. I have more time to work for your, for your great liberation. Huh? Yeah, thank you for praying my long life. My uh, root guru, Chattar Sanjay Dojjal Mboche, and Tetan, Thabrat Tetan, the Jain Lingba thought the Master Kanpai's long life is very important for the world, you know, because they are Buddha. They are all knowing Buddha. They need, you know. So, we fulfill the wish of Chattar Mboche and great masters who bless Master Tanpai, Master Guru Karma Tanpai Jalsen to have a long life, you know. May it benefit all mothers and gentlemen. So now first we make the, the our supreme spiritual leader. You know? What are you doing? Please go look at that. Put down your water. Yes. Yes, this one. First one is supplication prayer to His Holiness, the great 14 Dalai Lama. And second one is the, His uh, Essential Long Life Prayer, okay? So is it in a Hungarian language? Yes. This is Hungarian language? Yes. Yeah. Okay, now I pray first, I pray, okay? Did you finish this topic? Yeah. Sit down, sir, sit down. Can I make pray now? <coughs> Yes? Okay. Hello, hello. Yes? First, you can, you can repeat after me in Tibetan, okay? The prayer. The heartfelt supplication prayer towards His Supreme Holiness, the 14th Great Dalai Lama. Okay? Please repeat after me. Read in Tibetan. Tibetan. Tungi Ninja. Sung to Jupe Lam, Sung to Jupe Lam, Chetel Sanze, Chetel Sanze, Kanjet and Rugun, Kanjet and Rugun, Chana Pemo, Chana Pemo, Tenzin Yatso La, Tenzin Yatso La, Solan Deso, Solan Deso, Shedon Hundrup Shop, Shedon Hundrup Shop. Thank you. Uh, now the second one, Kangri Rave. Kurve Shinkam Dir, Tendam Dewa, Malun Jungwe Ne, Chenle Sewang, Tenzi Jato Ye, Shape Sithe, Pato Tengu Ruche. So I was making this heartfelt prayer for a long life, His Holiness for the Dalai Lama, and this prayer since I was a childhood. You know? So I'm very much blessed by His Holiness Fortin Dalai Lama. I'm so fortunate. So now I want all my students to pray for the long life. Prayer for His Holiness the Fortin Great Dalai Lama and also the supplication prayer. Okay? So now you can, I pray one time in Tibetan. Oh, <laughs> So one does then also that His Holiness, the 14th Great Dalai Lama, and His retinue, the most faithful, the spiritual, other spiritual leaders, and all the exiled Tibetan can go back to their holy, 
homeland of Holy Tibet, you know, and uh, benefit countless sentient beings in Great China, and benefit countless sentient beings in Great uh, whole Asia and the entire world, you know. That all the loving Tibetan people who are in, in Tibet and other uh, most loving Tibetan community in, with, with, all over the world, they get the ultimate wishfulness of uh, returning back to their homeland, Tibet, you know, and spread Dharma activity and benefit countless uh, mother sentient beings in the mainland China, in Tibet, in Mongolia, in Holy Great Nepal, in, in Great Bhutan, in Holy Noble Great India, whole Great Asia and the entire world. Oh. All this vision, all this uh, most loving spiritual um, brothers and sisters, the Tibetan people are most loving and they are like uh, the holy son and daughter of all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. They are most blessed community. So, there's all the loving Tibetan people and uh, all this uh, great enlightened, great spiritual leaders, all the great lamas, great kempos, great turkus, and great monks, nuns, they are the genuine followers of Buddha, Dharma and Sangha, and they practice Holy Dharma themselves, and also they teach the world. You know? The whole world community is very grateful that this Holy Tibetan community, all the great lamas, great rinpoches, great spiritual leaders, they teach this world. You know? Increase the number of the spiritual people, you know? help introduce the practice of Holy Dharma to many countless human beings. They got opportunity to practice Holy Dharma and achieve great liberation. This is the greatest gift, greatest gift, and greatest contribution for the liberation of all whole humanity and for the happiness of all mothers and gentlemen. Okay. Thank you very much for your. So I also this prayer you can you can you can take in your room. You can memorize this prayer in Tibetan and both in your language. So now I am making this the long life heartfelt long life prayer of uh, His Great Holiness Seventeen Jawa Karmapa Ogyen Dorje and all his uh, kind of. Uh, Holy community, you no? Know? Long life for His Holiness Seven Day Jarwa Kama Ujin Dorje, long life prayer for His Holiness Twelve Kening Tai Dupa, and for the long life for for twelve uh Jalsa Rinpoche, fourth Jango Kundu Rinpoche, tenth Great Sangye Jamba Rinpoche, and Third, to jump to Guru Boche, Sanjay Pema Hebar Boche, and long life prayer for also second to Ampenor Boche, and long life prayer for the second great Bogart Chukur Boche, and for Tengar Boche, and for Dusin Boche. No? Yeah, I make prayer now, okay? Oh. Zodendo Sanjay Nimbaye, Yapekalwa, Yazro, Tatejing, 
ทุกข์เจียงเป็นเมลุนดูยกเป็นเมลจัลสาวเต็มดันรวมงูตุ้งจมสังเกตเป็นมาเขี่ยไปเจ้าเกิดรู้ก็ไอ้เขี่ยเ
because you just ate a few hours before breakfast, big breakfast, and a few hours before big lunch. So it's not necessarily you force yourself to eat. Food is good to eat when you are hungry, you know, then it satisfies you. So now where I am now? Mm -hmm. Page number. Okay, now the Bajrasattva, the essential Bajrasattva practice. This I want to introduce you. I asked Dennis to translate for me and he translated very well with the transcription. So shall we pray this? Uh, this need uh, oral transmission, you need long. I will I will read this first, okay? Ah, ez a tettől fogva minden nem született és eredendően tisztelt. 
vissza. Az átmeneti legmegjelenő fogalmi gondolatok tudatunkban mégis tudatlanságot, a kettőség érzetét, hanyatlást és töréseket okoznak. Amint most megvalunk a darmadatunk, nagyon jelző életes tisztaság kiterjedésében. Balcsra, Tibikó ura, Balcsra Pányi, ki kinyilvánítottad a Balcsra rendet, a testbeszéd és tudat százezer titkos szamajájából, bármely fogadalmunkat is gyengítettük le, vagy ígéretünket is szedtük le. Legmélyedünk bánattal és sajnálattal beismerjük és megvalljuk azokat. Szatva, most, hogy elmúlt annak az ideje, hogy gyengeségeink hibákká, és a valós lelki hibákat kötelességük szerint elrendelt szigorú büntetések okaival váljanak, nem való, hogy jelenés következő életeimet a pokolba való jutás okainak felhalmozásával sötétítettem el. Ó, az Igorlan király, a nagyszerű eredendő bacsa, ki mindenféle fogalmi hivatkozástól mentes vagy, és minden szennyezettség és vallomás felett állsz, mindig tökéletes szamanta vadra, mindig a határtalan kiterjedése, örökké jelen lévő vagy, akár a darmadatú tere. Amen. A vallomások ezen királya, ezek a vadra szavak, megrégülik ki a szamszárát, épp úgy, ahogy a bölcsébe aranyán változtatja a vasat. Ez egy szóbeli útmutatás, ami megéti mindazokat, akik a tudatlanság áldozataivá váltak, és elrontották fogadalmaikat. Minden szavonta vadra bölcsesség tudatából tölt fel, és én hatma szimbolikus forma jegyeztem le az az eljövendő generációk számára. Találkozzon ez az emanációmmal, szívbéli fiammal, ez szartunk neki, Pálvótól, hogy ezt egy ügyesét dolcsát fejtette meg, nevekedjen az értem. Amen. Actually, according to the mantra here, you see, first you can see, first is there, Om, after, after, after that there's Ah, and then there is uh, Vajra, and then there is, there is Sato, and then there is Hong, and then later there is Ah also. So actually, Om A Vajra Sato Ah, Om A Vajra Sato Hong Ah, Om A Vajra Sato Hong Ah. Om A Bajra Sato Hong A. See, because this four four line, four verse, beginning of each verse, there is Om A Bajra Sato Hong A. Okay, so enjoy this prayer. Now we make the dedication prayer. And then we can take take the night dinner. And tomorrow the regular program seven seven to seven to eight thirty or nine o'clock. You make morning prayer with your with your with your guru yoga practice, tara prayers, and breathing yoga. And nine o'clock your breakfast. And then ten thirty we have a program to practice the Buddha Amitabha combined with the power practice. Okay. So now dedication prayer. <laughs> Your 
uh, get very much jealous. No. And people get very angry. No reason. They get very angry. They get very jealous. They get very disturbed. They cannot tolerate. They cannot see that other people are doing such a great job, such a great practice. That other bodhisattvas, other masters, other spiritual people are doing Dharma practice. And they are giving so much great contribution for the protection of whole humanity and for the liberation of all mother sentient beings. Instead they enjoy and appreciate for no reason. No. They get very jealous and they get very angry. And they commit a great sin, big sin out for out of no reason. Of course it's out of ignorance, out of jealousy. You know. People who are very jealous, they cannot tolerate other people's well-being. They cannot tolerate other people's uh, good deeds, good work, you know. So the jealousy is our greatest enemy. The jealousy, the fire of jealousy and anger will destroy our own, your own merit. It destroy your, burn the, the fire of jealousy will burn all the good things that you have, all your merits, all your happiness, all the quality of your life that you have already will be burned by by the fire of jealousy. So everybody has to be very careful not to get jealous. If you cannot appreciate, if you cannot share your heartfelt kind of kind of rejoice and the heartfelt kind of appreciation, at least don't condemn them. Don't feel bad about them. Don't try to stop them. Don't try to harm them. Don't try to get jealousy. But jealousy will destroy you before we just destroy destroy others. No. Others who are doing good, they will keep on doing good. Nobody can stop. Like people like me, I try to do my best to practice Holy Dharma and teach all uh, my students and try to give my contribution for bring peace and unity of whole religion and whole humanity. I do this. I was born for this. I will never stop because somebody gets jealous, you know. I will be stronger and stronger, you know. So the jealousy is a very big poison of the mind, you know. So people who are very jealous, they cannot see the quality of others, they cannot appreciate them. Instead, they get very disturbed, very jealous, and disturb themselves, harm themselves, you know. So all the people who are not jealous, who have pure thoughts, pure heart, and kind judgment, you are able to uh, um, participate in this lifestyle, with your heartfelt appreciation, with, the heart, with your heartfelt respect towards this spiritual gathering, spiritual practice of Dharma, you accumulate very great, great virtue. You accumulate great virtue. Your attitude and action of rejoicing others' merit, others' good things, bless you to be very successful. You know? Your merit will grow. Your appreciation, your rejoice towards others' well-being, towards others' dharma practice, will accumulate infinite virtues, you know, and you will be the most happy person. People who don't get jealous to others, people who appreciate others' merit, others' well-being, they are the most happy people, they are the most blessed people. Their merit will always increase and increase and increase until one day they reach enlightenment. So thank you for your rejoicing. Thank you for your appreciation. Thank you for your participation. We share this merit. <coughs> we dedicate this merit for the urgent protection of whole humanity and urgent purification of coronavirus and all other uh, obstacles and all other virus. No. Please take good care of wherever you are. No. Protect yourself and your family and do your spiritual practice. Since 20, 30 years, I travel all over the world, mainly in Europe, European countries. So I have many thousands of European students. I'm not able to visit them and meet them personally, but through this live stream, some of you can join the live stream and join the heartfelt prayers. And we dedicate this merit for everyone's protection, for everyone's purification, and for the all peace and unity of all humanity. Thank you. Jaiho. I see you tomorrow morning or so. Okay. Jaiho. Thank you for your uh, kind uh, appreciation. Uh,
for kind participation. Thank you. Jai Ho. Jai Ho. We have to say ah ah before we go ah. Angel Yona is very hesitant to pray. Thank you. Please. Yes, okay. Now we make some space for our dinner. Ah 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 ah